What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I have a new gimbal. It is the Feiyutech A2000. Let's start putting it together. All right, so the Feiyutech A2000 comes with a soft carrying bag. It's, it's soft, but I mean, it's hard enough to protect it while you're traveling. So it has a little handle up here, you can carry it around. But the good news is, is that this is the smallest form factor of a travel bag that I've seen for a gimbal. So take that into consideration. So what's included in the box? We have the gimbal assembly, we have a little mini tripod, which I don't strongly recommend using with a big camera like the Sony A9 and a 16 to 35 lens. It will just tip over and I don't really recommend it. So try getting a different tabletop tripod. I'll post a link for one in the description box below. We also have a manual, make sure you read that. And we have some cables necessary for upgrading firmware and to connect your camera to the gimbal itself. That way we can use the time-lapse feature and we can take pictures using the dedicated buttons on the handle of the gimbal. We also get a pack of four batteries, which are rated to give you about 12 hours of battery life on the gimbal. In my opinion, I think it gives you more than 12 hours of battery life. The gimbal loads two batteries at a time, so they're supposed to give you six hours per pair. But I've shot probably at least seven or eight hours on a pair of batteries and the gimbal has not died on me. So I think it gives you more than 12 hours, which is great because you can shoot long time lapses. So putting the gimbal together was easy. We have this thick rubberized handle, which I love because a lot of gimbals out there don't have that feature. And it just, it's a nice firm grip and it's slip resistant. So that's something you should definitely look out for. So the materials that are used to make this gimbal is mainly aerospace grade aluminum. This is excellent material because it does not rust, which is great because if you're shooting in rough weather conditions and there might be some drizzling or something like that, this gimbal will hold up to that. Next, we have three accessory ports, one located on the bottom of the handle, on the upper portion of the handle, and on the pan motor. The one on the bottom is meant so you can attach a tabletop tripod, the one on the handle may be a microphone, and the one on the pan motor may be a light, or vice versa. To power on the gimbal, all we have to do is hold down the power button. We're gonna hear a chime and the gimbal will spring to life. And right under the power button, we have the picture taking button. So that only works when you have the included cable attached and connected to the camera. We also have a joystick in the back here of the handle, which allows you to manually position the camera any way you want. So the power button also doubles up as a mode button. So if I press it once, it will be set to the default shooting mode, which is pan follow and tilt lock. However, if I press it twice, it will follow both my pan and my tilt. And there's a trigger in the front, which if pressed, it will completely lock the tilt and pan. Feitech also provides an application that you can download for your smartphone where you can wirelessly control and manage motor parameters. Also, the application offers you some great time-lapse options. Another thing that I really like about this gimbal is that it has full 360 degree rotation without obstruction on the roll axis. This is something that a lot of gimbals don't have, especially with the Jew and Crane. 
With the Juin Crane, we have the pitch motor here hitting the pan motor when you try to do a full 360 degree rotation. So I like having that clearance there, especially when you're packing it up and moving to a different location. You don't wanna to have to reset the roll arm each time that you pack this thing up. So after having this gimbal for quite some time, I can tell you that this is the quietest gimbal that I own. Currently, I own six different handheld gimbals. This one is by far the quietest, guys. Usually when you do abrupt movements with gimbals, you can hear some high-pitched squealing or you can hear the motors working extra hard. The Juin Crane has this issue, the Mosua Air has this issue, and even the Kane TV Argo that I have as well. So this is dead silent. So this is especially important when you're on a movie set or any other shoot where audio is super important. So you can literally go up to the most expensive microphone that you can find and you will not be able to hear this gimbal work. It's incredible. So when it comes down to smoothness and accuracy in my shots, I would say that this gimbal does an excellent job. It anticipates my moves almost instantly. So we don't get that weird jerkiness. And sometimes I have that issue, especially with the Juin Crane. It just has a really tough time anticipating some of my moves. I don't have that problem with the Feutech A2000, so it just gets me that accuracy that I've always wanted. Next, let's talk about payload capacity. This is called the Feutech A2000 because it can support 2,000 grams, so that's about four and a half pounds. Right now, I'm shooting with the Sony A9 with a 16 to 35 lens. It's a heavy setup, and this gimbal handles it perfectly. You can also load up a 5D Mark IV with a fairly decent heavy lens as well and this gimbal will not hesitate to stabilize it. So what are some things I don't like about this gimbal? Well, for instance, I don't like the tripod it comes with. It's too flaky, it's small and plastic. Not a big fan, especially if you're holding such a big camera like the Sony A9 with the 16 to 35. So try to buy another tabletop tripod like the Per Gear that I'm using right here on this system. I'll leave a link for it in the description box below. Another thing I'm not a big fan of is the quick release plate. I feel like it can be better or just remove it altogether and just use those simple screws with the slots and just mount the camera that way. You don't necessarily need a quick release plate. I feel like it adds more time to my setup and I'm just not used to using one. But overall, I'm still able to balance this gimbal within about one to two minutes. So the balancing time is still pretty quick. Overall, I'm extremely happy with this gimbal, definitely worth the money. And with the shots I was able to get, this thing is such an important tool to have in your arsenal. So if you're interested in the Feutech A2000 gimbal, make sure you check out the link for it in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big like, subscribe with notifications on, and of course, as always, have fun filmmaking. I can't wait to see what you guys create. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.